two legendary ultrabooks. One, burning question. Which one really delivers? On the left, the MacBook Air. Sleek, silent, and powerful. And on the right, the Dell XPS 13. A Windows powerhouse with cutting-edge chips. Let's skip the buzzwords and get to the real stuff. Each category earns points. And by the end, you'll see exactly who comes out on top. The result might surprise you. Okay, so here's how I'm going to compare these two. I made this mind map. Look at all these categories. We're talking price, performance, display quality, battery life, the whole vibe of their design, how they play with each ecosystem, the port situation, and yeah, expandability too. Buckle up. This is going to be thorough. So let's kick things off with price because no shame. That's where a lot of us start. Looking at the MacBook Air first, it's got a lower starting price, right? $1,099 for the base, and honestly, that's pretty good for what you're getting. Plus, Apple laptops tend to hold their value better if you're thinking about selling down the line. But, bit of a catch. The base model is kind of basic. Only 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. Also, you're paying for that Apple vibe, which can be a premium. Now, the Dell XPS 13. It usually comes in at $1,199 to $1,399. So yeah, a bit more upfront. But if you're the person who likes maxing out specs, Dell actually gives you more options. More RAM, more SSD. The downside? Windows laptops don't hold their value quite like Macs. So who wins this round? Honestly, gotta give it to the MacBook Air for price. All right, performance time. The MacBook Air is straight up smooth for everyday stuff. Single core tasks, multitasking on Mac OS. It's awesome. But here's where it starts to sweat a little. If you're pushing it super hard for longer, especially with no fan, it might throttle. Now, the Dell XPS 13 with that Snapdragon X Elite chip? Wow, multi-core performance goes through the roof. Seriously fast for heavy video editing or work. SSD speed is insane. But I'll be real, Windows on ARM still has weird moments. Not every app is happy yet. Bottom line, power-wise, the Dell XPS 13 does take the win. Especially if you want sheer muscle. Onto the displays. Because, yeah, your eyes deserve good stuff. MacBook Air first. You're getting a bigger, sharper 13.6-inch display. The resolution is nuts. Colors pop, and it's super bright. Like, I was actually shocked. It's gorgeous for streaming and editing. It does stick to 60 hertz, though. Now, the Dell XPS 13's screen is a little smaller and lower res. But... It's got a super smooth 120 hertz refresh rate, so scrolling and gaming just feels good, you know? That said, colors aren't quite as vibrant as the Mac, and brightness is a tad lower. If you want pure visual quality, gotta hand it to the MacBook Air here. Oh, and here's something cool most folks don't know. One single Apple M3 chip can actually outperform a bunch of beefy Intel Core i7 laptops. All that speed while barely sipping any power. Kinda crazy, right? Battery life. AKA, can you survive a full day without power panic? So, the MacBook Air is kinda legendary. You can seriously get 18 plus hours of battery. That M3 chip sips energy, and it's impressively efficient. Downside, no swapping batteries yourself. The Dell XPS 13 isn't too far behind, honestly. The ARM chip really closes the gap, and you'll get through a packed day. But, little caveat, Windows on ARM is still figuring stuff out for battery. And if you go for the OLED screen, yeah, you'll see the battery drop faster. Overall, Air keeps the crown for battery. Now for design and build. All right, MacBook Air, it's thinner than your school notebook. Just 0.4 inches. Very light, pure aluminum unibody. And the color choices? Chef's kiss. Only catch, not a ton of ports. Dell XPS PS 13, though, is slightly lighter, which is wild. And that display practically floats. The bezels are so tiny, but it's thicker, and I'll be honest. The vibes aren't quite as premium as the Macs, and the color selection is a bit limited. Winner for aesthetics and feel? Yep, MacBook Air again. Ecosystem. So, the secret sauce for a lot of people. If you already have an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, MacBook Air meshes with your stuff in ways that are weirdly magical. AirDrop, handoff, iMessage, it's all built in. But, fair warning, you're kind of stuck in the Apple world. Dell XPS 13, on the other hand, is a textbook definition of open. You can plug anything in, grab any app, it just works. But there's no deep link to your phone or smartwatch. For true ecosystem synergy, gotta say, MacBook Air is ahead. Last up, ports and expandability, which matters more than you think. The Air, it's all about clean design, but that gives you just two Thunderbolt ports, plus MagSafe for charging and a headphone jack. So, minimal. Dell XPS 13 has two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and they're pretty flexible for docking or expanding your setup. But here's the plot twist. No headphone jack on the Dell, and no MagSafe. So, MacBook Air nails convenience, but Dell XPS 13 
is the one for straight up flexibility. So Dell takes this bit. So looking at the full radar chart, MacBook Air is flexing with the best display, top battery life, design, and that magic of the Apple ecosystem. Dell XPS 13, though, punches back hard with multi-core performance and better expandability. It's pretty close, but they shine in totally different ways. Okay, so what's my verdict? If you want straight up best display, battery life, seamless Apple magic, and killer design, just grab the MacBook Air. But if you're chasing that raw power, need extra RAM or SSD, and want to live in the Windows world, the Dell XPS 13 totally makes sense. Pick the one that matches your everyday workflow, and you won't be disappointed. Hey, did this comparison help you out? Bookmark this video. Seriously, it's a lifesaver for your next laptop.